Welcome back, it's Dr. Denton with Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear, and today I'm answering one of the most frequently asked questions about eye health, and that is, what in the world are these floaty things around in my vision? So, those floaty things can be a couple of different things, but we're gonna address the most common cause today, which is what is called a floater. So inside of your eye, if you could open it up just like this, inside the cavity, you have what's called the vitreous fluid. Now the vitreous fluid is composed of, it's kind of a jelly-like substance, um, almost like jello. And over time, what happens is that jello can kind of break up and floaters are when you are literally seeing the fluid within your own eye. Now, most people will see floaters against a blue sky or a white wall. It is very, very common to look up at the sky in the summertime and there's lots of light and you can see these little squiggly lines. They can be kind of grayish or black in color, but they can also look like clear, I call them like little amoebas kind of floating across your vision. The important thing is that floaters typically or always will move across your vision. That's very important to differentiate against something more serious like a gray spot that never moves, it shows up in the center of your vision or off to the side and never ever changes. A floater is going to be kind of transient. It'll come and go and float across your vision. Why do floaters happen? Well, Floaters can just be normal. It's a normal part of getting older, of the fluid within your eye changing. You don't have to be getting older to have them though. I've had them since I was a kid because I'm fairly nearsighted. When you're nearsighted, your eye tends to be a little bit longer in length than the average, and nearsighted folks, as a result, tend to have this breaking up of the fluid, and they notice floaters more. However, floaters can be a sign of a problem as well. So especially if you are diabetic, um, if you have flashes of light with those floaters, if there is a curtain that comes up or comes down over your vision, those are all concerning things. You should always get floaters checked out because they may just be normal, but they could be signs of a bigger issue as well. All right, I hope that answered your questions about floaters. They are extremely common, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't get them checked out by your eye doctor. Yes, it is something we can see in your eye in your exam, but you typically will only notice it against blue skies, white walls, plain backgrounds like that. If you have more questions about floaters, make sure to leave them down below. We love answering those questions. Thanks as always for tuning in. You can catch us every single Wednesday at four o'clock and we'll see you next time.